Hello everyone, Prince Kudia, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Blind. Last time, we had a hell of a time taking on Metaton EX, and, well, killed the hero of the people. But now, we're going to kill the hero of no one. With, oh, hey, this is, like, all this is super familiar. All of this is, like, super familiar looking, because, like, you could see this from a distance back in the uh, opening room. Wow, this is a grand cap. This is a nice grand capital. And eerily silent too. Hum. Hum and a 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 hum. Oh. Oh. New home. Well, that's blocked off down there. Hey. Oh, sorry. Oh, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh! A key. Well, I got a keychain. So, oh, hello. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh, we're getting storytelling! Yay! There's a lock there, but I'm gonna go to the right. I bought a mystery key a while ago, too. Oh, present. Uh, yes. Nice. Um, is it an equipable by chance? Oh, it is. Uh, I'll take it, and I'll equip it, too, but... I'll equip it too, but I'm again. I'm not. I'm not a fighter. Not this run, anyway. What's this? Oh, oh, it's a key. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Yay! It's me. Despite everything, it's still you. <laughs> What's this? Wait, all current pages is, is Oh What's this? Trophy. Number one no Oh There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink can knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Oh It's a bureau. Well, let's use these keys, because I have them for a reason. Alright, down we go. Oh, hello you guys. Then one day, the human became very ill. This is just like... Oh, Toriel's place. Hello, Vegetoids. The sick, yeah, sick human only had one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Oh... The next day, the human died. Oh, dude, that's depressing as all hell. And I can see all these monsters from before. This is cool. I love this. Hasio, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Whoa! So Hasio did it at one point. Oh, you're covered up. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Oh! Oh, it keeps going. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. I love this music, it's so epic. Suddenly the screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the hu the child. Oh no. Hey dummies! The humans attacked him with everything they had. 
he was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. Let me guess, he didn't. Hey, night night magic. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Hey, Final Froggets! Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh no! The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost their two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Oh, dude! That is not cool! The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Well, that part's not going to happen, but I understand your plight. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. He will give us hope. He will save us all. Hey, the fiery guys. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Oh, frog it again. Hi, buddy. You're going to be free. Um, what's down here? A, a safe spot. The final corridor. Oh, this is the final corridor. This is the final cord. Okay, that elevator must not mean anything. Actually, let me go check that elevator because I'm curious now. You know, uh, now this is the po now I'm glad I didn't hurt anybody because you know. Oh, it works. Oh, it goes back. It's a shortcut throughout that path. Okay. I'm glad I didn't hurt. I'm glad I did the pacifist run. Now this is. You know, I gotta say, if it comes down, to I stopped. If it comes down to it, I'll. Give up. I'll give it up. Oh, hello, Sans. I don't like the ominous bells, but hi, Sans. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's the XP? It's another acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. Oh! Ah, oh, that's clever! When you have enough EXP, your love increases. But I don't have love. It stands for a Level of Violence. Oh my god! That is that's a great way to do it. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to, to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're com completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it for, with a smile. You never gained love, you never gained love. You never gained love, the acronym, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of this entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore or go home, monsters will remain trapped on the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get that far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination, and it's in my pants. Roll with it. So long as you hold on, as long as, long as you don't do what's in your heart, I believe you can do it the right thing. All right? We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh, and Sans has gone. Sans! No, dude! <laughs> oh. So Sans is like the final judge. Oh. 
I love everything that's coming together. Okay, this is... Th oh, throne room. Um, let me save. Throne entrance. And let me go over here, because there could be something special over here. I'm just going to go. What if, I just, what if I just leave? What the... It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Oh, why... Why is me... Those are the other souls. Oh my god. Wow. Just... Wow. That's a lot to hold, build up to at the hype. Alright, throne room. The garden! Okay, the game's taking over. Are you Asgore? Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Hello. Howdy, how can I? Hi. Are you Asgore? Oh. Hi. You know, you bear a striking resemblance to somebody I remember back from the ruins. I so badly want to say, would you like to, a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. We're going to have a moral dilemma, aren't we? Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. It is. Is this actual sunlight, by the way? You know, you know what we must do. I'm not gonna hurt you. When you are ready, come into the next room. When I'm ready, come into the next room. You know what? I'll hold off on this. Short episode, I'm cliffhangering it because God, it feels good to cliffhanger this, but everyone, come back next time when I think we're going to wrap up Undertale. I think. I don't know. Like, everything just everything just came crashing in all at once in this one episode. Holy, holy crap nuggets. I'll, I'll see you folks next time. Take care.